group of creative minds in the fields of medicine, math, computer software, and architecture are in a race against time trying to stop develop to, trying to develop emergency ventilators. The goal is to make a simple and effective prototype that can be manufactured in San Antonio, quickly delivering to the local hospitals in just weeks. Patty Santos tells us they're ready to present and design to a hospital for an emergency use review. So this all team is literally around the clock. Drew Classit with Can Opener Labs shows us the work that's been going on nonstop for a week at the office. The original models were literally out of PVC. A team which includes developers, doctors, and even District 1 councilman and architect Roberto Trevino have been all brainstorming on a simple, effective emergency use ventilator that could be made and used in San Antonio should there be a shortage in our hospitals. The whole goal was to make it in a way that these could be rapidly made rapidly deployed so they're actually they're actually now water jet cut out of aluminum so they're made out of metal they're actually some material stuff you'd get at a um, at uh, it's all stuff that gets sourced locally i would call this our fifth prototype at this point uh, we've had a uh, functioning model uh, uh, several several functioning models and uh, we're we're uh, hopefully assembling this one and have it ready to work in, in a couple hours. Can Opener Labs is a prototyping and development firm. The pandemic prompted them to shut down and volunteer to make medical related products that are in need like face shield masks and now ventilators. There's good that comes out of all this hard times and I think that's something that we can really show the amazing talent, the amazing people we have here. This is kind of the latest model. It's still missing the, uh... Show the motor. Yeah. And there's the motor. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so that's a simple system oh, okay. right there. The prototype will be presented to the University Health System Institutional Review Board in the next few days. The group is also in talks with the FDA to seek emergency approval. We will be presenting this in, in, in the hopes that we can uh, find a, a path forward. They say it only costs a few hundred dollars to make. And you saw all of them working in that office, some of them sacrificing time away from their family, some of them even sleeping in that office. One, because they work late hours, but also because they are group isolating. They say this is not the type of work that can be done remotely. For The Nine, I'm Patty Santos.